Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for April the 22nd of 2021. Well, it is titled Planet Earth at Twilight. So what do we see here? Well, this is an image of our Earth as seen from the International Space Station. Now the International Space Station orbits in a low Earth orbit just a few hundred miles up above the surface. And it moves around very quickly in that it orbits the Earth once every 90 minutes. So that means it's able to see a lot of sunrises and sunsets sets over the course of a single 24 hour day. And here we see the time of twilight. And we can see that the left hand side of the Earth is in darkness still. And the right hand side is in daylight. And that we see the dividing line there sometimes that called the terminator between the night and day. Now you'll notice on Earth, it's not very well defined. It's a very uh, fuzzy uh, type of uh, line. So it's not a very distinct that we don't go immediately from darkness into light. Now this is because of Earth's atmosphere. So the Earth's atmosphere serves to blot out that a little bit. If we were looking on the moon, for example, we would get a very distinct dividing line straight line between sunlight and darkness. And here we get it a little more fuzzy fuzzy out and you can see some of the reddish color as you get into uh, the twilight region that we're used to seeing up in the sky. You can also see part of the Earth's atmosphere. We're looking straight through it. But if you look off towards the upper portion on the upper right side, you can see some of the upper layers of the atmosphere there silhouetted against the darkness of the blackness of space. So we can see that thin atmosphere that keeps us alive here on Earth. And it does a number of things, including able to keep in the heat and allow the Earth to stay sufficiently warm for things like liquid water to be present. And it also provides an atmospheric pressure. So it is able to having an atmosphere allows for that liquid water. So it helps with the temperature and the pressure that are needed to keep liquid water present here on Earth. And that is very different than something like our moon, for example, where the temperature can either be way too hot or way too cold for liquid water. Or and in addition, there is no atmosphere to keep liquid water in. So on a place like the moon, water could exist as a solid frozen and it is actually seen in some craters. And other places like Mars, similarly, water is all frozen, or as a gas, and you never see it in its liquid state It is only in special conditions as we happen to have here on Earth, where we get to have the liquid water that is so important for life. So that was our picture of the day for April the 22nd of 2021. It was titled uh, Planet Earth at Twilight. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be Planet Earth at night. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.